Hey guys, welcome to your um, bonus energy check-in for Gemini. This is going to be for the rest of April 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Uh, this could be in any replacements. We're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the um, rest of your April. And then we'll finish off three to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you you may take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you to book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one my new videos post when i go live also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about um, Gemini. Bonus energy checking for Gemini. What is surrounding Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? What can Gemini expect for the second half? or the rest of their April 2024 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for... Gemini for Gemini. Okay, so we have the star card, Aquarius, not Aquarius, uh, Aquarius energy, Gemini with the Ace of Swords. Seems like you guys are having some sort of major breakthrough here. Major breakthrough about what your life's purpose is. You know, I feel like you guys have been on this long difficult journey and finding out what that is and you feel like some of you guys could be realizing that you know with the star card here you guys are meant to be a service to people help people here you know innovate for society here and sort of give back you know what that looks like to you it could be anything it, it, you know sometimes that star card to me could be a representation of a light worker here too we have the uh, lovers here gemini energy and also the six of cups okay what else do we have here, Gemini? With the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here. Okay. Someone here is feeling betrayed by someone that you dealt had a history here with for a very, 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 very long time. And I feel like this betrayal has something to do with money here. Someone here could have taken your money. Someone here could have stolen your money here. Okay. Now, this could be a romantic partner. This could be a friend, a family member, or something like that. But someone here is feeling very, very, very betrayed by someone, okay? Tell me the Five of Pentacles here. The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Ten of Swords and the Strength card. So one of the things I'm getting here, I feel like maybe you are finding your own resolution to some sort of past situation that you dealt with here because i feel like a lot of you guys are definitely getting back on your own two feet if there has been some sort of financial struggle here some sort of financial worry here i do feel like you guys are definitely sort of like um financially recovering here too okay we have the tower and the six of cups the tower aries scorpio energy okay we have the lovers and the two of wands here i mean here's the thing this could have happened already or that this could be happening soon okay <sighs> two of wands here and the lovers i mean some of you guys could or that you're dealing with someone here that has options here when it comes to love you know so you know i do feel like someone here might be making a decision on you or uh, and there's somebody else in the picture with the ace of swords here I mean, it could be indication that you guys are finding your path here or that you're finding something that you love to do here with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. We have the Star card here and the Three of Cups. Seems like you guys are definitely overcoming some sort of tough times here. Yeah, things are turning in your favor here, Gemini. I feel like, you know, luck is turning in your favor or that you're feeling very lucky at this time. You could be feeling really lucky for the things that you have and the people that you have around you. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on for the rest of their April 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Like I said, this could be in any of replacements because anything could come up. We have the Ten of Cups, okay? 
and the Nine of Wands. All right. We have the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles here and the Seven card. Okay. With the Two of Cups here and the Ten of Cups, there could be a relationship that's going really well currently here for you guys. Yeah, but I feel like this this past situation here has something to do with someone here taking something from you. Kind of like tricking you, duping you, okay? But there is a relationship that's going really, really, really well here. There's harmony, there's balance here, there's happiness, there's fulfillment. Tell me about this Nine of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles. For the rest of April going into May, I feel like you guys are definitely working on your traumas here or working on releasing some sort of trauma that you dealt with in the past here. I mean, it could also be childhood trauma here too. You know, you could have been traumatized or that you were traumatized while you were growing up here. Uh, maybe growing up in a very unsafe home. Tell me the High Priestess here. Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess in the Chariot, Cancer Energy. You know, I feel like right now, moving forward, the best thing for you to do, can uh, not Cancer, Gemini, is to really trust your intuition at this time here. Yeah, it's to really trust your intuition because I feel like there has been a lack of trusting your intuition here that has led you down a path where things have been very unsettling or that you feel like you might be making things harder for yourself than it already is, you know, because there's a lack of trust in your intuition here. Tell me the Seven of Swords and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the King to the Queen of Cups here. That's a, tr that's a true pair. That's a soulmate connection here. Tell me about this King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you here could be realizing their mistakes here for causing you pain and hurt. I do feel like this is a past person that has duped you here. You could be receiving unexpected communication from this person. Interestingly enough, I feel like you might be even you might be expecting some sort of visitation in your dreams here where I feel like this person is trying to resolve things here with you too. Yeah. Six of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. The Sun and the Four of Cups. I do feel like someone here is definitely coming in trying to rekindle something here with you or trying to, trying to resolve things here with you. But here's the thing. I really do feel like some of you guys are currently in a new relationship here where I feel like things are going very, very, very well. Things are very balanced here. Things are very stable. Things are very happy here. You know, and they feel like somebody, uh, somebody else is visiting you in your dreams to apologize or to communicate for something that they did to you in the past. There was a betrayal surrounding money here, okay? And like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys could be realizing your life's purpose here. So there's a lot going on here, uh, Gemini. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.